my mouth is on fire. I'm cutting up a bunch of sweet peppers to um, put them in the vacuum sealer and put them in the freezer. There was one of them that was a little like soft, so I just took a bite of it to make sure like it didn't taste like it had gone bad. Now all I can think about is the fact that I just vacuum sealed so many sweet peppers. My mouth is so on fire. I took the smallest bite and I can't explain to you. It's not the worst hot I've ever felt. I'm trying not to do sugar right now because I felt like I was fighting a cold and sugar is not great for that. So <sighs> I've been avoiding it, but I just have been letting ice cream sit in my mouth just because milk doesn't just sit there. You have to like swallow it. So I've just been like letting ice cream just sit on my lips and my tongue because it's so fire. I don't know what that cross, I don't know what it like cross pollinated with, but fire. Goodness. <sighs> These are the grandpa's home ones. So they're small, so you know they're hot. And I have a bunch of them and then I have a ton of habaneros. <sighs> That was fire. This is my workstation right now. There's Cruz is watching something in the background. Here are the amount that I've cut up so far. I have some more to do there. I have to freeze all those habaneros there. And um, um, then those ones there. Also here is the ice cream just sitting open because I've just been shoveling it in my mouth. Okay, this makes me feel better. Cruz, who loves hot, can handle hot way more than I. I just had him taste it. And he's like, oh, no, that's hot. So he's, he's shoveling in the ice cream as well. Just like our fridge. It's like, mom, that's bad. His mouth is still burning. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. This kid can just like, like those little grandpa's home peppers. He'll just pop in his mouth. And yeah, it's hot, but he doesn't like need assistance. It's less, well, it's more like a burning hot, but hot sauce. It'll make like sometimes my eyes sweat if I eat like a lot of it. But this hot sauce. Yeah. It's hot. Well, I washed all of them, so I laid like them out the to dry. of Satan or whatever. Oh, it's cayenne. I let them dry naturally because then I powder them. These are all the grandpa's home ones. I think I'm going to let them, I'm going to dehydrate those as well and turn into um, something. Okay, Cruz. Try ground cherry. No, but I will Either. try a homegrown bean boozled. <laughs> Which one would be the sweetest, do you think? Um, the more yellow ones are the sweeter. You might want more tart, though. The more green ones are more tart. I want the purple one will have the least amount of taste. I think you'll like the tart ones better. Try but, both, one of each. But I don't know the color of a tart one. Yellow is more sweet. Green is more tart. Well, let me try this one. It seems like a good one, like compared to those. Okay. Swallow. <laughs> Was that a green one or yellow one? I didn't hear you. Mix. Nasty. It was better at the end. They're so the good. Start, it was like bean boozled. I don't know why nice you don't like it. Now do, let's see, let's do. This one. Oh. No, that's so green, Mom. Try it. That is. I don't even know if the ears are supposed to eat the green ones, but I do because I like them. Watch, they're like toxic. <laughs> That was a little more nasty. Well, you tried. Good job. I don't know why you like Something. Maybe we got 
something good Maybe we got something Maybe we got something I know we got something good Something good Something good Something good So I'm playing all my cards for you I'm shooting for the stars and you You're already in my heart So what do I got to lose? I'm playing all my cards for you Yeah, I'm thinking Maybe we got something Maybe we got something Maybe we got something good something maybe we got something i know we got something good something good something good okay these are different sizes but i'm i didn't feel like separating them differently so I'm gonna put those in, season them, and I'll just watch them and might have to take some out sooner. Maybe we got something, maybe we got something, I know we got something good. I have not actually been feeling that great the last few days, so I've been just laying down and trying to not get sick because I leave this weekend, um, this next weekend for uh, Nashville. I'm going to sing on a, per a friend of mine's album. So I'm trying to get some stuff done and not get sick. Uh, so I've been resting, but I have had a tons, tons of stuff to process and put away. So I did that today, mostly. I don't have all of it put away, but I got the peppers done, the tomatoes done. Um, oh, look at the plants. This week, I need to move all of these. Oh gosh, they're so leggy. I'm really nervous they're gonna not make it. Uh, I need to up pot those. The rest are looking pretty good though. Um, all the onions. Now this is the cilantro microgreens, except it's not like super thick, so we'll see. Still looking good though. Another thing I was a little bit confused about, the back row of pots are cauliflower and none of them have sprouted. And then I realized it's because the stinking cat I kept catching climbing back there. I thought, I was like, well, that's, those seeds must be bad. Nope, just my cat. Hey, look, you can actually see it tried to sprout, but then the cat trampled it. So I'm going to put those tomatoes in the oven at, my, uh, my oven runs hot, so I put it in at 240 and I'm gonna do it for a couple hours then check because mine are quite a bit smaller than a lot of other people's when they they put them in the oven for like five hours. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna check them actually at 90 minutes and then see how the little ones are doing. Uh, they're gonna literally be like this big, <laughs> but oh well. And we will see how those go. watching this video, a random processing the harvest video. God bless. Maybe we got something. Maybe we got something. Maybe we got something good. Maybe we got something. Maybe we got something. I know we got something good.